Hello students and welcome back to another English class. My name is Mr. Galvez. It's a pleasure to be your teacher today. Remember, follow the lesson. Try to understand the instructions and watch the video as many times as you can to understand the whole lesson. Welcome class. I hope you are okay taking care of you and your family at home. And remember, wash your hands and wear a face mask to cover your mouth and nose. And something important, stay safe in your home. So, today, we are going to talk about the present perfect tense in the affirmative sentences. Pay attention and follow me. As you remember, in the last lesson, you learned about the present perfect tense. Today, we talk about the same, but I am making some emphasis in the affirmative form. Right now, I need that you listen the next sentences. Try to remember the words and complete the statement that you look in your screen. I repeat the sentence two times. Pay attention. Look at that plane, Mandy. I love to travel. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I have. My family and I went to Italy two years ago. It was great. I repeat again. Try to listen and complete the statements. Look at that plane, Mandy. I love to travel. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I have. My family and I went to Italy two years ago. It was great. Now it's your turn. Repeat the sentence with me. Look at that plane, Mandy. I love to travel. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I have. My family and I went to Italy two years ago. It was great. I need that you look right now how to complete the sentence. I rub it again. Look at that plane, Mandy. I love to travel. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, I have. My family and I went to Italy two years ago. It was great. Class. Now, I introduce some words. These are action verbs. That means movement or physical response. In this case, I have this list of verbs in past participle. I need that you look the yellow ones. Now, repeat after me. Talk, having, lesson, engage, spoken. Rising, run, eating. I'll repeat again. Try to read these verbs with me. Talk, having, listened, engaged, spoken, rising, run, eating. I need that you try to remember these verbs. We are using at the end of the lesson. Class, pay attention. We are going to explain how to write affirmative sentences using present perfect tense. Look in your screen, the grammar rule. Remember, always start the sentence with capital letter and finish with the correct punctuation mark. 
in this case with a point at the end. It's important to start with a pronoun or a name. Then we add the auxiliary verb. In this case, for the personal pronouns, I, you, we, and they, we are using have. For the third person, he, she, it, we are using has. Plus, it's important the main verb. The main verb is always in past participle. And at the end, we have the complement of the sentence. I have two examples here. I have writing a letter. We have writing a letter. He has cleaned the house. She has cleaned the house. Okay, look the grammar structure of this sentence. Personal pronoun at the beginning plus auxiliary verb plus main verb in past participle plus complement. Don't forget this grammar rule. Now it's time to continue with the lesson. At this moment we make new sentences together following the grammar and structure for the present perfect tense in the affirmative sentences. Okay, I need that you look these sentences. Try to repeat with me. Number one, I have written a lot of text. Number two, you have seen this movie Number three, he, she has studied two foreign languages. Number four, we have listened many songs. As you see, we have a subject, the auxiliary verb, the verb in past participle, and the complement of the sentence. Don't forget the grammar rule to write new sentences using the present perfect tense. Now, students, it's time to practice yourself using some verbs that I give you. I have four verbs. Lesson, clean it, run, work it. Try to make a new sentence using the verb in past participle. I give you some time. Remember, follow the grammar structure for the present perfect tense. Pronoun or name at the beginning auxiliary verb, then the main verb in past participle, and then the complement of the sentence. Okay, I need that you look these examples. Look your screen. Number one, Mary has listened a lot of songs for her performance. Number two, Mario has cleaned the classroom. Number three, Juan and Maria have run in the tournament. Number four, he has worked in an office. Okay, uh, do you see? These are new sentences in present perfect tense. Okay, 
Identify in this sentences the grammar structure. Number one, subject, personal pronoun, auxiliary verb, main verb in past participle, and the complement of the sentence. Ahora vamos a poner en práctica lo aprendido el día de hoy. It's time to practice. Now it's time to practice our lessons. In this case, I need that you listen and try to complete these sentences. Number one, Mary has bought a new dress. Mary has bought a new dress. Number two, we have danced at the party. We have danced at the party. Number three, Emilio has read the newspaper. Emilio has read the newspaper. Number four. I put my wallet here. Have you seen it? I put my wallet here. Have you seen it? Number five. The baby has cried a lot. The baby has cried a lot. Okay. Now it's time to check if we have correct our sentences. Number one, Mary has bought a new dress. Number two, we have danced at the party. Number three, Emilio has read the newspaper. Number four, I put my wallet here. Have you seen it? Number five, the baby has cried a lot. Okay, do you see? It's very easy. Try to remember the verbs in past participle to make new sentences using the present perfect tense in affirmative sentences. Seven graders, you work wonderful. Don't forget to practice the present perfect in your home. Now it's time to say goodbye. Well class, this program has to come to an end. See you next.